friends, we are quickly approaching the AE ain't nothing but a number can uh, part of the campaign. Uh, I'm hoping in this war we'll be able to take quite a bit of clay. It's really gonna, yeah. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, well, we're gonna do this. Uh, I do not care. Uh, we're going to move our trade capital over here to this uh, node sooner rather than later. But we are going to first have to make sure we switch over. So I was under the impression yeah, somebody has said something along the lines of like, oh, you if something about Catholic, Protestant, Anglican, as far as I know, if we are a monarchy, this will change to personal union CB. As far as I know, that is how that will work. So what I want to do is PU these guys, get this, move our trade capital, and uh, stonks, you know, profit. Uh, I don't know where my admin mana all went. Did I just core up a bunch of stuff like a dingus? I don't know. thought I had some admin mana. But we are going to wait until this technology in uh, three years, and then we are going to do that. And that's going to allow us to core this for much cheaper, which is definitely what we want to do. All right, Age of Absolutism is here. And so we are meeting zero of the requirements. Multicultural nation. Let's do that. Ah, oh, shoot, I can't. That's unfortunate. Yeah, that is unfortunate. Okay, either way. Potential for a large army, 200. We can probably do that. Universities will be able to get that pretty quickly. Win the religious war. I don't have that, even though... Oh, I didn't enforce the religious piece, so I don't get this. That is absolutely tragic. That is very tragic, actually. Oh, shoot. These guys are actually upset with me. Yeah. This uh, colonial border friction is going to cause us some issues. That's all right. It's all right. Let's go ahead and switch another guy over here to Outrage Countries. If we can prevent a coalition, I would like to. But yeah, after this war, I don't think we're going to have much of a choice. I don't think it's going to matter much. But it is what it is. Let's go ahead and see if I can get the burgers happy. Alounberg. We are currently building one. Oh my gosh, look at that. It says to build a manufacturer. We have a manufacturer that will, build, that will be built here in like a couple of months. That will allow us to... Oh, it's close, actually. Hmm. Either way, our max absolutism is 39. Could be better. Generally, the best way to do this would be to uh, harsh treat rebels. So let's do that. Yeah, this is fine. As long as we're staying ahead of time on Miltech, I don't particularly care. And uh, the absolutism, as it stacks up, gives us about one third of its value towards admin efficiency. So 1.6. Very good. These guys are now loyal, which means I can now yoink, which gives us max absolutism, which is great. We want to make sure we're doing that. Their equilibrium is only 45. Really? All right. We've chosen the right path or we lose some government reform progress. Unfortunate because I don't implant. I don't plan to um, reform into a monarchy because what that does is it resets our governing reform progress. If we do it via events. I believe, I believe it is for free and you get to reuse all your your stuff. I might be wrong with that, but I, I think we're good. But yeah, we're just sitting here on this war. I don't particularly care about it. I have no intention of piecing people out. We'll get call for pizza before too long. But uh, in the meantime, we're just going to hang out. How are we doing on the great power list? We were number five last I looked and we are number three now. Very good, though. France is going to pass us as soon as they embrace global trade, unfortunately. But it is what it is. Same with Russia. So we're actually still number five. First circumnavigation by the Brits. Let's see here. You guys are reformed. And uh, not for long. I'm going to reform everybody into Protestant. Look at that. And we spawned that. So I'm pretty content with that. Reformed has mostly been squished out. And the only real Catholics are like, you know, on the, on the periphery of Germany. So pretty good, right? Let's see here. Let's uh, turn that up just a little bit. Get a different song here. I like uh, Ride Forth Victoriously, but... All right. So they're happy with us for now, though I imagine once we take this province over here, they're going to get a little upset about it. We're going to need to take quite a bit of tra trade um, provinces from them eventually anyways, so it's really not a big deal. My main plan for expansion is just to snake around here, get as much trade power here. Like, look at this. There's 70 ducats here. Imagine if we steered with our 81% trade power here into here and collected a meaningful amount of it, you know? And there's two trade provinces right here, right? 
this one's an estuary and this one's a center of um uh, what's it called a trade power trade co center of trade yes Derp, i know these words uh war has changed very cool truces with brandenburg is over they could join my coalition right now i would rather they did not we do not have a cb on them so it's fine they're actually the only person who could join our coalition so i don't care free admin mana is very good we're gonna need that we're uh, probably gonna be able to get this right around the time we get the un uh what's it called like the absolute surrender or whatever also where is wilhelm's Hav wilhelm's haven is it in bremen wilhelm's haven i think it's in bremen either that or like ostfriesland oldenburg it's, it's in this area right maybe it's in stada i don't know tell me in the comments extra colonist abso friggin lootly let's um let's see here we have one gems province and we are likely to get it seven percent and ten percent so let's colonize here as well and let's actually spend a little bit extra money recall you and send another colonist here so that way we will have three colonies running at the same time it will cost us a bit of money but obviously that is not really money is not much of an object for us we have plenty of diplo mana to spend oh no what am i doing what am i doing <laughs> Oh no, I was thinking this was a Diplo idea group. Oh my gosh, hold on a minute, friends. And we have returned. My game crashed by accident, so oh well. But uh, we're good. Oop, what the heck? Yeah, I did not mean to do that. Disregard. What is this? Either way, here we go, friends. And okay, OBS being being uh, funky there. But yes, all is well, all is well. I don't know if I actually did a, long, a, a formal intro here, but welcome back everybody to Buntaku. Hope you guys have been enjoying the campaign. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Yeah, I thought that was a, I thought we were doing a Diplo idea group, so that was just me being a dingus. Make sure we are developing the coups. The coup? Uh, somebody had corrected me saying that it's not coups. I, I don't care. <laughs> I just like calling them coups because it's, you know, you put the S on the end of the word, it makes it uh, plural. I know that's not how you do it in German. I don't care. It's funnier if you call it wrong anyways, in my opinion. We have crazy manpower. Holy smokes, bro. Look at this. Yeah, we got some manpower, baby. Oh, we got... Okay, hold on, man. We have small pee, pee No, we have a truce with them. All right, we need to get... Um... We need to get this sorted out ASAP. What if I privateer the English channel? Will that give me PP? Pee -pee? It does give me PP. Pee -pee. Very good. And we are waiting until... This right here. That will make this uh, peace deal a little bit cheaper, I believe. Yep, okay. This is totally reasonable, to be honest with you. Munich and Württemberg. Okay. We will do that. I will yoink this development. We'll lower it by 20 dev. That is nutty. Okay, very good. Gives us six dev in our capital here. Heck yeah, bro. And uh, we will be able to click a mission here to build manufacturers, which gives us a ton of money. Holy smokes. And... Um, could core these up right now. I don't have the admin. So yeah, we'll convert it. Why not? I'll convert it. That will help us out with our religious unity. Let's make sure we are picking some rivals here. Let's go with you and you. Let's send you guys a scornful insult. Let you know that you suck and we hate you. Get our PP as big as possible. And uh, yep, truce with a bunch of people is over. So let's take a look at our uh, coalition map mode. Everybody that is in the... Uh, that is not green could join our coalition and anybody that does not have stripes over their name could join our coalition as well so let's see here Goslar. do you have any friends that i could call in bohemia could definitely join so i suppose we attack these guys we have no cb against them because they're no longer my uh my um my rival so what we're going to do here is we're going to attack them yeah this is fine oh, actually if i call on them and i can call in russia so let's go ahead and do that. I don't actually care about the war. It was more it's more to uh prevent them from sending in men to uh armed men to kill me in my sleep or something like that. I lose some diplo rep. Feels real bad, man. We are not even overextended. Tragedy. Tragedy, tragedy. But on the bright side, we might be able to take some shots today. If you don't know, every time we see John Prague, we take shots. So long as you are of legal drinking age. Of course, very important. But um Brandenburg is preparing to attack Stetten. Very good. Yearly prestige for some money and admin. Sounds good to me. 
you have so much money in the bank that is actually insane let's build up these guys as well one two three four five and then any province that we really want to develop like cow provinces and uh cloth salt that's fine and dandy cloth 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 iron is good now this one as well anything we're steering into our home node i'm, I'm good with that and then cow cow you know what we should probably just do it in all of them but i don't care about necessarily everything yeah this is fine and that will give us plenty we have our forts upgraded across the board which is wonderful Yep, sounds good to me. Lots of buildings being built. That will actually give us one of these guys here. The uh, multiple centers for kids who can't read good. Looks like I took one over here in like the hog or something if I had to guess. They have one built over here. Did they not? University here. There you go. They built one in Friesland. Very cool. Won the Siege of Goslar. Now, I don't care about this war. The only reason I'm in this war is to prevent a coalition. Mostly being that the, the major guy who could join will not be able to join because he will have a truce with us. That is fine. And we will continue to boost up our... Um, oh, shoot. That's a little expensive. 45 is good because that is... Uh, it's 50 minus 10%. So, which is uh, from our innovativeness from all power cost reduction. But now you can see here... We have 6% of the trade here. It would actually go up quite a bit if we had um, if we had some extra, uh, whatchamacallit. We have penalty for collecting over here. So we would have a bit more trade power if we did not. If we were not collecting over there, rather. So let's get you guys down here. Send you guys. Oh, come on, man. Let's have you guys come down here. Now they might jump on me. I don't particularly care, honestly. Now, these guys are not able to join because they have a, uh, ah, shoot. We might be able to actually prevent them from joining. Yeah, they're in a war up here. France is going into war. That's fine. Yeah, honestly, we can probably prevent Austria from joining. That's 60-some thousand men. Let's go ahead and, uh, influence them. Yeah, totally. Look at that. <laughs> uh-huh, I love it. All right, Neu Augsburg has been done. Did I forget Klein Vendig or Wendig? The W and the V get flipped, right? Tropical Wood. Still haven't gotten our thing here. I'm really, really hoping we can get something uh, something good there. Friesland does so much development. Holy smokes, man. I'm getting these things co converted, of course. Uh, I do not want to lose trade efficiency. We have lost a siege somewhere. Oh, no. Whatever will I do? Give it to Prussia. Let's uh, come on down to Prussia. I'll probably actually annex Goslar just because we have a claim on them. And we need it for this mission here. That will give us claims on basically all of Brandenburg. There you go. There's Brandenburg. Uh, expanding over here very good so that will put us below the 50 mark and our chance of falling under a military dictatorship will go up quite a bit at least i believe that's how that works won the siege of cheb their gold mine is belong to us let's come on over here looks like uh russia's over here just like clapping them in battle either that or bohemia is or not bohemia uh brandenburg eh, it's russia for sure Russia's got all kinds of men in the field. That's fine with me. There you go. Arawak has been pieced out. And we're getting there. I'm going to colonize or core up Friesland. Seven more favors with those guys. Let's see here. We have our trust. I want to get a little bit more trust with them. I believe it's 80 is the threshold to have them not be allowed to join my coalition. And we have won the Siege of Prague. So, lads, as is tradition, if you are of legal drinking age, feel free to... Uh, Pour one up and throw back a shot in honor of uh, the Siege of Prague. Get these guys down here with uh, Clemens von Oldenburg. Let's scorch this province here. Let's come on over and attack these guys. We need a king. Yes. Yes. Our Republican tradition is so low. Give king, please. All right. These guys are going to get clapped. And then these guys are going to come up to Prague, which is scorched. And they will attack us. 
And uh, we'll get clapped. That might even be a stack wipe on them. No, not quite. But that's okay. Do some uh, shuffle sp uh, carpet sieging over here. Weakening them is definitely in our best interest. Might be even worth like having them spit out like a Nitra or something like that. Shout out all my uh, Slovakian friends or Slovenians as I affectionately call you. Let's convert you and let's court you. Let's uh, not take that. Definitely not. <laughs> no reason to. And let's get a siege general on you. Sir Ald Adolf Friedrich Oldenburg. The noble one. The good this that's the good Adolf right there. Not not to be confused with the bad Adolf. Let's see here. We're almost there to coring this stuff up. Oh no, they're sieging me down. Oh no. <laughs> what am I gonna do? No. It's crazy the amount of uh, admin we are in the hole. I can't uh I'm in awe of that. So Bohemia will uh, get separate pieced out for... How are you allied to Iceland? Like, what in the world? You guys are weird. <laughs> like, of all the people in Europe that you could ally, Bohemia chooses to ally Iceland. You know, in no disrespect, I got a lot of Iceland bros. Love you, boys. No homo. But the fact that these guys are, like, in a massive alliance network with these people is very strange. Go ahead and do something like that, and then maybe we'll even break in a uh, break a. Uh, yeah, that'll hurt their prestige, which is already quite low. Their stability is quite low as well. Goodness gracious, or quite good. I mean, their prestige is very low. Prestige is uh, solid. What am I trying to say? Goodness gracious, prestige is low. Stability is high. We are now an empire. Very cool. That actually gives us this. Uh... Oh, shoot. It actually disqualifies the multicultural nation. That is whack. Whack. Imperial conquest gives us years of separatism and prestige. So I might as well um, boost you guys some um, placate your rulers. Since we're going to be gaining some prestige from this. We might as well put that there. Years of Separatism will help out with some unrest over here, which we do not have anyways. Because the Rebels have already spawned. And, uh, let's see here. Rather than that, let's have you guys, like, end a rivalry. It says, uh, it's too much. But I think we'll be okay. Let's get a general down there. I'm not worried about them sieging down my provinces. And even if they siege a province or two back, it's, it's, it doesn't matter to me. It doesn't hurt us at all. Next idea group is coming up. We're about to max out on Diplo as well. Next idea group should probably be... Hmm. Diplo is always a solid choice. I think we'll be planning on Diplo. We're still hurting for mill or admin mana. Gosh dang it. Yeah, I'm going to max out on Diplo here. So let's do a little bit of development. Since our universities have been built up, they are uh, quite affordable to dev rather. Let's uh, dev up some cow provinces here. And now let's take a look here. If you go to your strategic goods on trade, there you go. Sort by that. We are trading in the leading producer of salt, fish. How about livestock? We're up to 10, 10.6. So we have half of the, or 10% of the world. We are the leading trader in the world. The Ottomans are actually beating us though, or our second place. If we took the Ottomans trade and steered it up our way, we would be able to do this. Um, yearly prestige isn't really necessary, so I guess not. Now, I uh, don't really necessarily need them to end those revelries, so let's just go ahead and do something like this. This is fine. A longer truce is better. That's the main reason why I was doing that. And uh, now we probably still won't be able to annex them. Oh, we can. Very good. AE ain't nothing but a number. Very good. A bunch of people who could join have a truce with us now. So that's fine with me. And uh, yeah, we're in a good spot. Now our truce with these guys will be up when? 17, October of 17. And I'll probably attack and fully annex them. And I believe that will finish up this mission, yeah? We need six provinces. One, two, three, four, five. Are you kidding me, bro? 
Hmm. Are these guys allied? They're not. They broke alliance. Oh, no, they are allied. Okay, that's fine. I'll co-belligerent them then. All these little forts being built is just so, so exhausting. I'm going to hold off on coring anything else, and we're going to take this admin tech. As soon as I do that, you know what? I'm going to preemptively switch over. It's going to hurt us for now, but we're going to save up a ton of Diplo. Plus, it's like if we go over on Diplo, we'll just do a little bit of development. So it's it's literally a win-win for us. But uh, yeah, now you can see here, trade, we're making 158 ducats a month on trade, which is um, hog champ, as the kids say. So look how cheap it is to develop, to develop these provinces. Put you on dev cost here. Get you some admin mana deved up. Or mill mana deved up. And then we'll have some extra for production dev. And then we'll switch over here. We'll do a little bit of that. It's fine. There we go. Since I am ahead had, had, had of time on mill, I don't particularly care. Russia is attacking the Ottomans and they call me in. Sounds good. Free admin and diplo mana. Sound good. I probably shouldn't have spent all my mill mana, but it's fine. I don't particularly care. This extra cannon, this next tech will give us what? Leather cannons. So it's just a, a couple of extra pips. These guys want uh, want uh, access here. What's this about? What do you got? Oh my gosh, what in the heck? The Commonwealth is attacking them in Austria. Oh, since we beat them up, they're, um, they got attacked like that. Admin mana and morale of armies sounds good to me. Now, I would really, really like our president to uh, take over as king. I don't know if there's an easier way to um, kind of coerce this event into happening. I would like for it to happen, though. All right. Let's also... Switch you to... Uh, neither of these are useful. I would like like a production efficiency guy. Yes, we need a king. I have zero Republican tradition. Come on now. Presidential dictatorship. There we go. That's what I was looking for. All right. Prohibits switching government type. Allows plutocratic. Uh, we have maximum absolutism. Monthly autonomy change. And morale of armies goes up. France is attacking Great Britain. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. Now, I haven't looked at their navy for a minute. They have 114 ships. That is kind of crazy. I have 25 heavies compared to my 42, but I reckon my navy is a little bit old and dated. Do we have a dockyard here? We do not. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to find a province that's got a dockyard. Something like our shipyard, rather. Let's have these guys head over here. Upgrade our ships, which we have plenty of money to do. Yep, I will upgrade a bunch of those. I didn't even realize this. We took the Saturn, the uh, heavy galleon flagship from Britain uh, in the League War. So somebody had pointed that out. Shout out you. Thank you for pointing that out. I missed that. Missed the event there. Let's also state you guys up partially. Oh my gosh, we're making so much money. 165. It's going to go up even more. People are joining our coalition. I don't care. Yeah, France coming over here getting beat up on. You got to be careful whenever you're fighting them off the coast of their, their uh, land because... The uh, naval combat bonus off own coast from the wooden wall doctrine, which is unique to them, is very, very powerful. I think, let's see here, does naval maintenance, nah. We still have quite a few galleys in here, but not as much. I think chance to capture enemy ship might be the best one. Let's go ahead and switch over to that one. Now, yeah, see, like these guys are going to absolutely just get destroyed. France is kind of being a, being a hooligan. The key is to wait for them. Oh, yeah. 3-4. Alfred Verdon, you legend. The key is to try to wait for them to blockade you. And then you go in and you clap, clap, clap them. Also, we need one of these guys here. Uh, yep, this is fine. So anytime they try to blockade us in any of these provinces. And let's also build one here. They will take... If anybody has a ship in anything from here all the way over to here, they will take naval attrition. It's a very, very solid way to uh, make sure that you are... You know, able to cl clap your enemies in naval. Also, we have Sealand and Zealand. Kind of cool, right? I think that's interesting. So I'm in two major wars against two major powers, of which I have literally nothing to do with. I'm at war with the number two and uh, the number five great power. We are still number four. Looks like we actually are legit number four right now, which is cool. Russia's number five. Um. So, yeah, I don't... 
Hmm. What is my participation in this one? 11%? So Prussia is just like, you know, kind of doing their thing. I will lose some Diplo. I don't want to lose trade power up here in North Sea. We're steering quite a bit of trade that way. That's if we had a little bit more, huh? And uh, do I have the ability? Okay. So our absolutism is quite high. We have over 60. So we're gaining plus one per year. Let's go ahead and actually get a little bit of that crown land. Or sell a little bit of that crown land for some money. Yeah, we're good. All right. Cool. I think we're going to wrap up this war in the next one. So if you guys are enjoying, make sure you let me know. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe, ding the bell, join the Discord, subreddit, Twitter. They're all linked in the description below. As well as uh, if you want to check out my other series, I have a uh, third Odyssey campaign going on right now. You can check that out. Link in the description as or not link in the description, but link in uh, my playlist section of my uh, channel. Over at youtube.com slash shoot shoot. If you want to follow my Twitch, you can check that out. My second channel, Chubert, for some edited EU4 content. Link in the description. And my Patreon, also linked in the description. If you want to support my content, that's the best way to do it. But that's all I got for you for today, friends. This is Chewy Shoot. I'll catch you guys later.